EU interior ministers have discussed ways of ensuring that private rescue boats working off Libya work more closely with coastal authorities amid concerns that their activity is encouraging migrants to attempt to the sea crossing into Europe. Escaping wars and poverty, more than 360,000 refugees and migrants arrived on European shores across the Mediterranean last year. More than 85,000 people have reached Italy so far this year. The ministers agreed to beef up the Libyan coastal rescue services, step up deportations of failed asylum seekers and fund African countries from which people are fleeing poverty, hoping to find work in Europe. In the meantime, the UN's World Food Programme launched cash-based transfer in Cameroon last year to target beneficiaries, including refugees from the Central African Republic. The CBT program provides beneficiaries with the opportunity of choice to select uh, the food they need while also boosting the local market economy which profits the wider community. Abdullahi Amina lives in Tiamangolo, a Cameroonian village located about 35 kilometers from the border with Central African Republic CAR. She's a refugee from CAR and is one of over 270,000 others who fled unrest, violence and civil war since the early 2000s. Most refugees arrived in the country after sectarian violence erupted in 2013 when mainly Muslim Seleka rebels seized power, triggering revenge attacks by Christian militias. 21-year-old Amina is meeting eight officials from the World Food Programme to sign up for a newly introduced cash-based transfer program. The BFP introduced mobile phone-based cash assistance for the first time in Cameroon last year to replace monthly food rations and allow displaced Cameroonian families buy food for themselves. It is not only a means of providing food for the family, but also an opportunity to engage in income-generating activities. We also help them to order food, choose food, then we calculate the amount of the order and we transfer the money to the seller's account. Each household receives a mobile phone and a SIM card from the agency, giving them access to an electronic portfolio that gets topped up with monthly allowances to buy foodstuff from selected retailers. The size of the family determines the amount of money they get. Refugees can spend the money all at once or shop over time. The program is running in different parts of the country. I am happy because I can now eat what I like and not what they give me. With the money in my telephone, I can buy spaghetti, milk, sardines. It's a good thing and I can even buy meat. About 80,000 Central Africans have already been registered on the cash-based transfer system. The traditional food distribution program continues in some centers. In the meantime, as it shifts to the cash-based transfer system, which happens gradually. In North Africa, the Asian Roman city of Leptis Magna in Libya remains largely abandoned by tourists despite a group of volunteers maintaining and protecting the site. Leptis Magna was a prominent coastal city of the Roman Empire located by the Mediterranean Sea. Rallying guard over Libya's ancient city of Leptis Magna are a group of local volunteers working hard to protect the site from ruin. The ruins are in the city of Qum, some 130 kilometers east of the capital Tripoli. We have been protecting this ancient site and I hope that someone can maintain and restore this city to give tourism a boost within it and in all of Libya. Aside from their day jobs, the group of locals have been protecting the site from the violence crippling the country since the fall of former leader Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. Unlike in neighboring Syria and Iraq, where Asian sites have been destroyed in the ongoing wars, residents of the city, in cooperation with Libya's antiquities authorities, have set up a neighborhood watch over the site. One of UNESCO's five World Heritage Sites in Libya, Leptis Magna has always attracted cultural tourists. However, few of Libya's treasures have been seen by foreigners since Gaddafi's 1969 revolution. Under Gaddafi's rule, 
Search and excavation of artifacts was not allowed, and the industry struggled. The reason tourism hasn't picked up in this city and in Libya in general is because the world sees Libya as having lapses in security, but it doesn't. It's a safe country and a safe city. Many tourists and diplomatic delegations visit this city. Even after Gaddafi's overthrow, many had hopes the tourism industry would boom. But years of violence and political instability have stifled those dreams. Ali says most tourists who visit are Libyan and they only visit on weekends. The site includes ruins of a Roman theater, parliament, amphitheater, and wide cobbled roads. It was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1982. Still to come on Network Africa. Our Africa tech segment takes a look at the importance of education technology. That's in a moment.